Hello everybody, it's Ruffro here and I'm doing another video because this one was requested in the comment section of my last video. So I figured I would do this one and I've been thinking about doing this one for a while so I'm just gonna do it. So today I'm gonna be doing my opinion and my reaction kind of to the 2019 special runs, all of the exclusive models that you can get. So, uh, I'm going to like display a little picture beside me. I hope I can do that. hope I can do that. I'll, I'll try to figure it out. But yeah, so I'm just going to be reacting to, um, or not reacting, I guess. I'm going to be telling you my opinion on all of these models. So, of course, um, where better to start than the Celebration Horse? So the Celebration Horse is Oliver. He is so cute. I'm so glad that I get to have three of them and I'll actually get to have him. I think he's really going to be one of the more popular Celebration Horses that has ever come out. Um, I don't think anybody will ever top Alvarezzo, but um, he will definitely be up there with the most popular ones. Um, he is super, super cute and I am so happy I get the opportunity to have him. Um, so yeah, that's my opinion about him. I will definitely be keeping one in box, because I'll get three this year. So I'll be keeping one in box and probably getting him signed so he can go up on my shelf. I'll have one out of box to be able to show, and then the other one, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with yet. Maybe he'll be for sale. I don't know. Next is the early bird raffle model. Um, who's this guy? Um, he's on the Salabred mold, and if you remember correctly, he was on the banner that we saw um, when you left Briarfest 2018. A lot of people were speculating about him. He is the early bird. His name is Captain, or Cap. Um, I'm not a big fan of this mold, and the odds of me getting him are like zero to none. Um, so I'm not really... He's okay. I like him. He's fine. But, eh, not my cup of tea. Next, we will get into the special runs. So, the first special run they ever released was this girl. Um, a lot of people were not happy about her, and I kind of understand why. I'm not a big fan of her either. I don't really like vintage molds. There's a very select few of vintage molds that I really like. I don't like the color. The mane looks gross. Um, I just was not a fan of this horse at all. If she's your cup of tea, don't let my opinion sway you. Because, yeah, she's just not my cup of tea. So, I will not be getting her at Briarfest. Next, we have Quell, um, who's this guy on the um, Big Checks to Cash mold. I'm actually surprised a lot more people didn't like this guy. I'm not a fan of him at all. Um, I don't like the mold, and I'm kind of sick of Appaloosas and Patterns. I really want some solid color horses. Um, but he's just not my cup of tea, again. So, yeah, that's my opinion on him. I will not be getting him at Briarfest. Next is the one that a lot of people have been liking. Um, Diana, who is based off Wonder Woman. She's the glossy bay Roxy. Um, at first I was like, oh, I'll probably end up getting her. But since the other special runs have come out, um, I'm probably not going to get her. So, yeah, she's okay. Um... I understand why people like her. She is so cute. I love her, but not my cup of tea. So I will not be getting her. Next is the um, animal special run. So Briar always comes out with an animal and a decorator as one of the special runs as well. So this was the animal. He is so cute, but I'm not an animal collector, so I'm not getting him. Um, this is Bucky. Um, he is the St. Bernard dog. So even though he's super cute, I will not be getting him either. Next is Natasha, who's finally the first horse special run that I really liked. Um, I really like this girl. I think they did a really good job on her. Um, she, she's definitely a pickup for me, hopefully, um, if I can get her. So, yeah, she's definitely on my list to get this year. And next is this gorgeous boy. This is Rocket, who a lot of people have been freaking out about. And... I'm with them. <laughs> I'm honestly with them. If you follow me on Instagram, you know I love this mold. I love this mold. I love thoroughbreds. So I was so excited when this boy came out. I was super excited to finally see a horse that I was really in love with come out. So this guy is definitely on my list. I will definitely be getting him if it's the last thing I do. So 
wish me luck as a lot of other people like him as well. Um, so yeah, he is a definite pickup for me. Next is the Decorator Special Run. This is Banner. He is this black and red clearware. It looks like he's a clearware, but um, I definitely have to see him in person. So he's probably a no, but I would love to see in hand pictures of him because he might be really nice actually. So yeah, but he's a no from me. Next we will be getting into the store specials. So these are the horses that you can pick up in the Briar store. So we will start off with the first one that was released. This is um, Zipped in Black Magic. Um, he is super cute, but I'm not a fan of this mold. I'm so sorry for those who are a fan of this mold. I'm just not a fan of this mold. I don't like the mold. I love the color and the story behind this horse, but I will not be getting him just because the mold really turns me off. I don't like this mold. So yeah, that's my opinion on him. So I will not be getting him at Briar Fest. Next, who is the second uh, special or store special to come out is Hall or Hale. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Um, so this is this boy, and he is so plain. I love him. <laughs> I really love him. I love this mold, and I'm so glad they came out with him on a nice, like, chestnut color with a blaze. Like, he, he's really gorgeous. Like, I, I'm getting him for sure. Next is the final store special that they've released, or they will release, is uh, Rico, who is the, this flea bitten gray silver. Um, he is super cute. I really like this mold. I've always wanted one in this mold. Um, but I don't know how I feel about him, especially if he's the, uh, kind of splatter paint flea bit and gray that Briar has been doing. I don't really like that. Kind of like Snowman or JC, the tractor supply horse. Um, like those have not been my cup of tea when it comes to flea bit and grays. So I'm not sure. I'll have to really see him in person before I decide if I really want to get him. Um, so he's a maybe on my list. And next we will go on to the single day stable mates. Um, these are the last horses that have been released. I will do a part two video once it gets closer to Briarfest so that I can um, update you on uh, like the auction models that will come out, the prize models that will come out, and all the other models that are going to come out after this video. So yeah, here are the single day stable mates. This one is Chiffon? Chief? Chiffon? I'm totally pronouncing that wrong, probably. Um, but uh, she is on the um, Magnolia mold. She is really cute. I'm probably going to get her um, because I just love the Magnolia mold and I'm obsessed with it right now. So I'll probably end up getting her. Um, she's super cute and I really like the stalemate mold. So she's a yes for me. The next uh, Briarfest 2019 uh, single-day statement they came out with was Toe Tapper, who is based off of Boots, Scoots, and Boogie, who is a lot of people's like fan favorites. Like People love this guy. I do not like the mold on the other hand. A lot of people are going to like hate me for it, but I do not like this mold at all, so I will not be getting him. He is not on my list. I don't really like the color either. so. Yeah, he's a no from me. Sorry to all the people who love him, but he's a no from me. Next for the 2019 single day stalemates is Araya, or Ar Aria. I hope I'm not saying that right. I'm probably not saying that right at all, but um, I think it's a she. She is on the new pony mold, I believe it is. She is so cute. I really need her. I love the color. Um, I think the mold is really cute. I'm actually currently painting one right now. So I think the mold is super, super cute. So I will definitely be picking one of these guys up. Um, for sure. She, she's on my list. Next and finally for the Briarfest single day stalemates is Andante. Um, who is the new Rearing Libra's Honor mold that was released in the Preliminary Club. Um, this dark bay Appaloosa. I'm not a fan of the mold, so it's a no from me. I don't really like the mold, and the color is just eh to me. So this one I'm going to skip out on, so it's a no from me. And next we will be getting into the contest models. So this one is the 2019 Briarfest Diorama contest model. I'm going to butcher this name so bad. It's Cavalcade? 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 Hope that's right. 
I think I really, really like this guy. I think he's super cute, and I'm not a person to um, like vintage molds, as I said earlier in the video. But this guy is super cute. I really actually like him. I think he's a really nice, like, shaded chestnut. And if I, if I did do the diorama contest, I would love to come home with him. So, yeah, that's my opinion about him. So, for Saturday, the Saturday raffle model for Briarfest 2019 is North Star, who is this beautiful, um, dark, dapple, gray, um, duende. Um, he's super cute. I think he looks really nice, and, I, and a lot of people have been liking him. Next is the Sunday raffle model, who is Valor and Honor. These two are super cute. Um, they're the Mare in Full set that has not yet come out in the Premier Club. They're so cute and I would totally enter for them too. I'm just not a very big raffle person. Um, so yeah, I will probably not be entering for them either. Uh, but I would not be mad if I won them to be honest. So <laughs> yeah, these guys are super cute and I would love to have them in my collection but won't be um, putting any tickets in for the raffle this year. And that is it for all of the Briar Fest exclusive models that have been released so far. So I will do a part two um, once Briar Fest comes around and once we have all of the models um, released, I will do a part two on whatever else has come out, my opinion on those. So those will be auction models, the gift shop stuff, um, prize models, um, stuff like that. So. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you want more YouTube content from me, please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel for more. Please go check out my last video, that was my collection tour, if you want to see all my beautiful ponies. And um, please uh, comment down below other video suggestions, I still need more, I still have a couple to do, um, one of them being this video. <laughs> So yeah, if you have more, please comment them below. And of course, follow me on Instagram, at Ruffboro. Um, you will find a lot of my day-to-day -day life and other model horse updates um, more quickly. I will probably only post on here about once a week, if that. So yeah, definitely go follow my Instagram if you want more of me. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.